So Deer Island is an island in um, Boston Harbor. It's actually part of the city of Boston, and it's had a, uh, a very varied uh, existence. It's been a number of different things. Uh, it has been a prison. It has been a military barracks. It was a pig farm for a while. It's been a farm. And during the hunger years, it was a quarantine station. Um, the, it is now a um, wastewater treatment facility run by the Massachusetts Water Treatment uh, Authority. And it is cutting edge. It is one of the best in the nation. And when they were building the wastewater treatment facility, they accidentally unearthed graves from the Great Hunger. Um, there are over 860 men, women, and children buried on Deer Island. There are cousins and there are family. Um, for many years, uh, a Boston couple or outside of Boston, Bill and Rita O'Connell, were trying to build a memorial to the Irish immigrants who made it onto a coffin ship and made it across the ocean, but didn't quite make it the rest of the way, and it's it's a swimmable distance. It's so close to, to downtown Boston. Um, but the plan that they had was, was rather elaborate, and since then we've had other hunger memorials. There's one here in Boston, there's one in, in Cambridge, um, and the plan never really was completed. So the Council General a couple of years back, Michael Lonergan, um, asked um, a number of volunteers if we would finish the project. And we've actually made quite a bit of progress in the last uh, 18 months. We have reached a, a formal written agreement with the MWRA um, for the memorial to be housed on Deer Island. They've given us a beautiful bluff that uh, is close to the parking area. It's accessible uh, by wheelchair. And it's up on a hill, and it has a stunning view of downtown Boston. You see how close um, the 860 that are buried there came to Boston without actually completing the journey. Um, we've done a lot of site preparation work already. We've had the foundation poured. We've had a beautiful stone wall built that'll go behind it. And we've had a lot of the shrubbery planted. Um, we're going to have the names of the 32 counties etched on the different stones that we've had brought to the site. And we're having a 16-foot Celtic cross um, made, and um, it's, being, it's being etched in, uh, as we speak. It's being done in Pennsylvania, and we expect it to be um, delivered to Boston this summer, and we will have a ribbon-cutting ceremony, um, and we will finally mark the graves of the 860. Um, who almost made it all the way um, to Boston and almost uh, survived the Great Hunger.